Welcome back to Holmokra for the Pioneer series, episode 11, with me, Mr. Sealy P. I think we're just about there. As you saw in the last episode, this was all cleared. Uh, what I intended to do was clear up over the top of the hill um, and then down the side to give myself a nice big clear area. This this is trial and error. I mean, if it works as a meadow, if I can mow it, if I can bale it, um, fantastic. If I can't, it's not the end of the world. I've got a nice, well, tried to get a kind of straight run down from the hill down here. Uh, there's a couple sticking out there which I could have done extra but that's all cleared now um, so I've put the mill loader away for the time being so I've got no trees to cut down for a little while the logging has brought me this far and that's going to be my fallback the logging's always going to be how I'm making my money for the homestead um, I'm a logger but my homestead I need to support myself so we're up to 1,459 which is absolutely brilliant um, what I will do because that mulcher probably needs a bit of repair it definitely needs cleaning um, this is the bio belts one by Toxicom UM300 I think it is something like that but like I said we may look up upgrading I would think possibly so first up on the agenda before it gets too dark um, I'm going to use the excavator and we're going to start digging out the pond area. We have a little bit of a pond over by the uh, the farm. And I will do the in inverted commas. We are excavating. If you know what I mean. Turn it off. Right. Um, the wheat's growing fantastically, so we're going to be good for that and at some point probably by tomorrow morning we're going to need to look at getting a harvester um, just a small one just something so we can you know so just tick over now this is the low boggy ground as you can see there's kind of water here it's kind of peaty boggy sedimenty it's a word check it look it up <laughs> sedimenty I think once we start digging away 
like you do at the beach when you dig a hole and it fills with water that i think that's going to be the case as we start to excavate this out it will fill with water and we should have a nice little pond here hopefully so we should have a lot of silty sort of mud and earth that we will need to get rid of so that's the first job this excavator is just fantastic so just thinking whether or not to lower that down Let's have a slightly more stable platform. So that's going to be the case or not. And what we'll start doing then is, uh, yeah, scraping away, I think. Up in there. Yeah. So part way into excavating, it's only dawned on me. Because it's now half past three, we are going to start losing the light. Um, I need to sort out a trailer because obviously any silty stuff that we get out of that, we're going to need to put into something. And when we get a harvest, if we're doing the harvest, we're going to need a trailer to put the harvest into. Um, so we're going to get a trailer. I have already bought a tractor. I bought it during one of the last episodes while I was logging, and it stayed down here. Um, so we're going to use that. I've gone for this. I think it's 185 horsepower but tracks as well. I thought for going through the forestry stuff and doing things like that. So a little bit more horsepower than Deutz file we got. That's 143. So this is 185. I'm going to use this for doing the ploughing of the meadow and probably ploughing around um, the cow bunks. That's something we need to do as well. We're going to be sorting that out. Um, that is not part of the actual vehicle. That's the one that comes on a pallet. Um, that's attached to the front and you can change the colour so I managed to get the colour to match that was just a bit of luck really more than anything else um, so yeah new tractor wasn't too expensive I think that cost 50 grand I think it was so uh, yeah another tractor on the farm right um, trailer what I was going to go with was Forty grand for one of these. I thought we'd go for an RMT. I like this when this came out recently because I just, I think it's something a little bit different. It looks different to your standard sort of stuff. So why not? Let's grab one of those. So that's thirty-six thousand litre capacity. So what I'm going to do now is grab this, um, and we'll take the trailer up. Then I'll grab the plow, and um, and then we'll start sorting out the meadow as well so I want to try and get that ploughed at least the one over the hill and maybe seeded before it gets dark so the grass can be grown overnight like I did with the wheat field Okay then, so what we'll do, we'll take this over towards the excavator because then the excavator can either, I don't know whether we just unload onto the ground then load into the excavator, I haven't really decided, probably load into this I guess, I don't know. Um, and then I'll grab the plough. Uh, now, the plough, we're going to talk about that when I grab that. I'm not grabbing the massy one, I'm grabbing the lizard. we go. Got some already. Uh, let's have a look outside, shall we? Stick that there. Silty, peaty. Yep. Excellent. And, right, I'm going to leave it. It's down here, isn't it? Yeah, now, this is a multi-directional subsoiler, really. And I know that the um, Deutzfar struggled to pull this the other day. And I did this on um, Sussex Farms. 
and I think I've mentioned it in, the, you know, in comments people have messaged and sent me different things now we're in that situation again it's that damned if you do damned if you don't now this is one that can be pulled either way um, because you've got a three point link either side um, so it can be pulled either direction now if you pull it the normal way it requires 180 horsepower something like that, 150 horsepower um, if you pull it the other way technically the horsepower requirement becomes next to nothing it, and pretty much anything will pull it if you pull it the other way now i have done it the other way a few times and in the comments i get absolutely clobbered people telling me i'm an idiot i've got the plow on the wrong way how could i've not noticed that that kind of thing but that's the point you can do it either way it really it doesn't matter i mean yes obviously it looks better that it should be that way round but the premise being that if you do it the other way round it really kind of negates the need for the horsepower so just to make sure I don't have any issues I'm going to put another way around um, and we're going to plough this way around because I'm just thinking with the horsepower this is 185 it does require 180 let's just double check uh, this is under ploughs I think it's under ploughs although it's technically a subsoiler um, the 180 horsepower so I've got 185 on this bearing in mind I'm going to be going up and doing hills as well I was just concerned it might still be an issue so put it on the other way around should be a problem um, as far as ploughing out the flat bit where I'm going to put the cow barn I won't do that until the cow barn's placed I've got a little si uh, uh, bunker silo silage pit whatever you want to call it um, once I've got that in place then I can consider um, where I'm going to plough and have a bit of grass pasture land around it too as far as this goes i had done a little bit of landscaping only using the smooth texture uh, texture smooth function to smooth this out a little bit because it kind of came over the top it was quite steep down and then it had a kind of a sharp bit in the middle so all i've done is kind of smooth this out a little bit to make it a little bit easier again i don't know how much difference that's going to make so what we'll do is drop that into the ground I'll work out where I want my kind of edge of my... I mean, the more grass I have, the better. So, in all honesty, it doesn't really matter how far I come out. You can drive on grass without damaging it, so it doesn't matter if I do all of it grass, but I'll do as much as I can. This is probably no problem at all. Just have to be careful of where some of these steep bits are because mowers and then balers and stuff are going to struggle with rowers, that kind of stuff. But, come right out to here. Might as well get maximum we can swim the corner up the hill and this is where we might have a few problems but we'll see I'm not going to lime it I probably am going to fertilise it I'm also very conscious of the fact I might have left stumps here and there so I'm very cautious of <laughs> whacking into a stump yep should have taken that tree out shouldn't I it's going to mess up my nice neat line I will go around the rocks and stuff anyway, so... Pulling up here, no problem. Nine. That is steep. Eight. Okay. Up over the top. We'll swing around here. If I encounter any bits of uh, lumber like that, what we'll do is just put it behind us, because then it'll be easier to see on the ground these are just bits I've missed, so... And then we'll be able to see them. We'll come and collect them all up with the trailer or something like that. Do you notice how many of these I've missed? I'm going to come across loads, aren't I, as I go around. Oh, hang on. Hello. There we go. this isn't too steep down this bit but again you know, it'll be a case of whatever I can mow and use I'll use whatever I can't I won't and back around to the start so I've got a bit of work to do now as you can imagine so I'll see you in a little while when I've got a whole load more of this done
done. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. We came across five five bits of wood that I'd left behind, not a single stump, so I'm really pleased with that. Didn't miss any. So next step, fertilise it, then I'll seed it, we'll get grass into it. But, um, yeah. It, it was the same as it was when I did this one. When you're cutting all the trees down, and you've got an idea in your head of what you want to do, you can't quite imagine what it looks like. You've got an idea in your head, and once it's done, you look at me, you know what? Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That's probably better than I expected it was going to be. So I'm going to put the plough back. Uh, I've got seed, but I want to fertilise first, so I'm going to grab the fertiliser spreader. That should hook up to this a little bit better than it did to the uh, little Fergie. I'll get that all done, then I'll get back to digging the hole out. And maybe the hole will get dug out in the morning, as I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to think about that. Um, I do need to put a little silo down here and maybe a shed for the vehicles. That will need to be done. I'll do all that before we get sheep. Because I want to get a building big enough that I can put... Um, I don't that I can put the vehicles in and maybe some bales as well. So, not, I'm not running seasons on here, so it doesn't matter as much. It's not too much of a problem. Uh, but, just thought... Did I mention this the other day? I put in one of these. I think that's just the... Fertiliser. Is it fertiliser and herbicides? Is the one seed? I can't remember now. I put one of them in. Lime and herbicide and fertiliser. I think that was. <laughs> Useful. Not. Right. Fertiliser hooks up. Should be enough fertiliser to do it. Again, we shall see. Back up the seed. I think I've got a pallet up here with some seed still left on it. Yeah, didn't use all that. So it should be right for seed as well. Been going for bright colours on the tractors, but like I say, because we're doing forestry, I, mean, I know my kind of colour is that kind of Mississippi silly green. I've been going for green vehicles and stuff. But for the forestry equipment, I'm going for brighter colours because you're working in the forest, which is quite dark and, you know, I know it doesn't make any difference in the game, I totally, but, you know, just to be seen. Better safe than sorry, isn't it? And away we go, right. We just round and get this fertilised and then uh, we'll get it seeded. I think it's going to be the mowing and then baling that's going to be the problem. We're going to need a square baler, but I'm doing square simply because they won't roll away. <laughs> that's, you know, oh, yeah, what we do. Let's turn that off. I'm going to chuck these out of the way for the time being. Let's put them down over here. I'll get rid of the one down the hill, and there's one in the middle of the field that I'll grab further down the hill. Well, let's put that one. Lost it in the grass. There it is.
next? Let's get some grass in. Drop it down this time before turning it on, and then it'll work. There we go. So it's probably going to miss some bits. There we go. We'll come back and do whatever it doesn't. Yeah, that's not good, is it? It's because it's not smooth enough. A lot of ruts. So it's going to miss bits, but I'll go back. Generally speaking, planting your own seed, or if there is a field, because you've got, I've always said before, you've got a difference between field edges or areas of the map that the map maker makes that has grass on, and fields. If it's a proper delineated field and, and that you can set a worker on, and you get grass fields like that, the grass on those fields can be fertilised and you can improve the yield on. The stuff by the sides, or areas that aren't, you normally can't fertilise, generally speaking, the stuff you do yourself, always gives you a higher yield than the stuff that's around the edges. That's, that's kind of the way it works. I could have just left the hillside as it was and then probably come along the mode, but I want to try and get as much as I possibly can from the area. So ploughing it, putting grass back in again and allowing that to grow gives me the option for fertilisation, which then hopefully will improve yield. So that's why. If you're wondering why I'm doing it, because there was all the grass on it, that's why. Everywhere has been alright apart from that little bit down the front, so... Yeah, a few bits here and there. It's just where the edge, if you see right in the middle, the actual plant is not on the floor, the seed is not on the floor. The wheels one side, the wheels the other, are raising it up off the ground. Those trips I'm going to have to go up the field rather than across it, I think. But anyway, so same as when I do my wheat field, I will carry on putting the seed in this. Once it's all done, I'll go around and sort out the little bits that it's missed. And then we'll crack on with the pond. And I think in the morning then we'll sort out the cow barn, uh, where we're going to put that. And a bit of landscaping around it to get that ready. And I think moving on from there, wheat will probably re be ready in the morning, so we need to look at then a harvester and getting that cleared off the field, repurposing it, if we're going to repurpose it for a crop or just again for subsistence, so it's going to be something that we're going to use. Um, and then looking at the animals, we need to get some animals in. done. Seeded, I had two tiny little bits that no matter what I did, I could not get it to go. You look at the angle, every angle, there's a little dip there, and every angle I came at this at, the seed was off the ground. Now that's down to me with the landscaping. When I was smoothing out these areas, that bit I obviously just did, didn't smooth out properly. Um, I could do it now, but there's a tiny little bit on the field, it's not really too much to worry about. And over the other side of the field there's, I mean, literally a, a tiny, tiny little, you know, and again I came at it from every different direction, could not get it to work, so it's what it is, but we are done. So I might get another fertilizing state on that now, or I might wait until we get the first bit of growth and then put some more fertilizer down. What I did find though was coming out to do the seeding, I've only just about left myself enough room for this six metre wide piece of equipment where I've got my field edge coming up the side of here it gets a little bit tight in places and I'm worried about running over the crops but we're alright I think I've just about got enough room we are bumping the wheels along the edge this side but we're alright anyway so I'm going to carry on clearing out for the pond uh, then like I say in the morning hopefully I'll have a bit more of that done fingers crossed and then um, 
on to what's next? Oh yeah, the cow bun. We are loaded. The pond is dug. We only have to go a little bit below the surface and we were absolutely fine. Let's go that way, raise that up like that. We will remove the soil. But there we go. We have our pond. I'm gonna name it James. I'll leave it there. Another dad joke. You gotta have them, haven't you? What's the, what's the point of living if you can't do dad jokes? What's the point of being a dad? Anyway, field to my right. We are ready to harvest. Or well, this we will be when we get a harvester. Because at the moment we don't have one. Um, but we will be. I haven't cleared all of that out to make a pond. Just that that bit in the corner. Just you know, Someone mentioned it. I can't remember who mentioned it in the, in the comments. Oh, that would be really cool if you had that pond. It might have been Baron Papa. Um, but... I think actually yeah, it adds a nice little feature there so now we've got it now what we've got to do is move on to barn placement for the cows and a bit of landscaping um, our field to the left now has grass so the grass is growing you can kind of see the lip between the two at the moment there and there that needs to go a little bit further before that's fully grown but we do have grass all across the top of the hillside um, that is fertilized and whenever it's second time so once the grass came through that's now been fertilized twice that's good to go we just need to let that grow now and then we'll be able to uh, cut some grass awesome so now we we'll turn our attention to this side i'm going to put the uh excavator away well say excavator. let's um oh i'll leave the excavator on at the moment until we get to come around to doing some logging what I'll do is we uh, put this down just behind the trailer, I guess. Or in between a couple of the stanchions, that'd be alright. Well, that's interesting. Seems to have a collision of some sort. 
Oh. Okay, well, oops. Put it there for the time being. So can I not drive through that one? Oh, that's weird, just the implement. Okay. Forestry stuff tucked away just for the time being. That's why I went for that, see? Much higher. That went under there. Literally, with that folded as flat as it would go and brought in. I mean, I could have extended the boom right out and then dropped it and it would have been okay. But tucked like that, it is just under a couple of inches. But perfect. Right then. Now, I did say in the last episode, what I'll probably do is just kind of show you, I suppose, like a time lapse, I guess of me placing it and doing a bit of... and I said this is not going to be a masterclass. This ground is flat already, so I haven't got to worry too much about levelling things or anything like that. At least I don't think I have. Um, we won't, we'll see when we put it down. So, what you're either going to see next is going to be <laughs> really clean and tidy and me placing it and doing it all, or it's going to cut to it done because it went to absolute pieces. But the first thing I'm going to do before I do any of that is save the game. I absolutely just don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, bear with me. Okay, so, into my menu, placeables, animal pens, and I've gone for, and I can't remember who the model was, and I'm really sorry that I can't remember who the model was, this one, the Lizard Cows Barn Old. Uh, it would take 10 cows, because I don't want a lot. Uh, nope, don't want it there. We want it over here. Now, unfortunately with this one, you can only have it that way, or that way. It won't let you rotate but that's not a problem either, because what I was going to do was put it over here so we can access these bits probably about there um, right by the road like so, I'm just worried about it clipping into the road but we'll see, I can always level it a little bit um, so what we'll do <laughs> is place that, right that's not too bad come out of there uh, we'll go to landscaping. So what I want to do now is if I can press in triangle lo lower this so it all kind of joins together so I don't have a lip anywhere like that. You see on the back here it's raised a little bit so what I'm going to do if I can where it does need levelling some places it'll be fine. You can just see the ground come up a little bit there just so you don't have like a big thick ridge or a lump sticking out sometimes you will, you can't do a lot about that but so I'll come all the way around to try and get that levelled in and mixed in nicely with the surrounding terrain because it looks like in certain bits it raised it, in certain bits it lowered it so that doesn't seem too bad I think we're right this side as well seems to be okay. Right. I think we're alright here. Double check. I can always go back over it with the grass texture. That's not a problem at all. So. That's that. Now what I want to do is blend in the ground, hopefully. So we'll change that to that. We'll go on to... I want to get the correct one. I think it might be that one. So if you see around this area, it's all it's more the wood chip sort of stuff. See the wood chips all around there. And I don't want to really get rid of that water bit. I quite like that. So what I'll do is I'll go back to there and add these in. Just kind of blend in the edges. I don't mind the ground being like that where it is. I might leave these little bits of grass there. No, it doesn't all have to be wood chip. I can get rid of some of those bits. So we've got a couple of points there for feed. We've got our milk trigger, I think, is around the side. These are the things I have to find out as well. Uh, now what I want to do is try and blend this in if I can. So I'm going to go that way. I'll leave a few little clumps there. I don't want it perfectly uniform. And I'm going to add in some muddy bits as well. 
but just try and blend it in a little bit where I can around. It's still, there's still a ridge there. So if I click that and press triangle again, try and drop that down a little bit along that ridge. Yeah. It's a little bit of a ridge. Click it back and carry on blending. Because around the sides here where I've got the water trough, I want it to be a kind of drive along section, so... That'll do. Now, do I want this going right the way around the back? That's the question. I suppose I could, couldn't I? So I can drive all the way around if I want to. I mean, I can drive all the way around anyway. It's my lane, I can do what I like with it, but... I just think it's, uh... Just widen it out a little bit. Yep, there's a ridge there. Let me sort that out. So what I'll do is switch that again to that, press triangle, there we go, Let's load a tiny little bit there, only a bit, right, so switch brush again, uh, go back to the wood chip one, go small and then just to try and blend it a little bit with the surroundings. And then there's the wet ground one. Is it that one? That's the one I want. So we've got the bit of wet ground here. So just have that coming off of it. So it looks like where it is muddy. And vehicles have gone through. Little bits here and there. Doesn't have to be mad. But also around where the water trough is, here, and put some down there because obviously that's the water trough so that would be wetter anyway where you're delivering water and that kind of thing so do that like that that's not too bad I mean it's not like I say it's not a master class it's not perfect but it takes that rectangle that gets put down when you play something and just changes it a little bit so what I want to do now from here uh, is put down a bunker silo which I might put up this end here and then this section all down here, I'm going to plough out and have grass as well that will grow. So we can have grass this side and that side that can be cut and changed or whatever. I did say about placing a barn, that may come a little bit later. So what I'm going to do is come out of here, go back into place balls. I think it's under, is it miscellaneous? I'm pretty sure it was. We'll go into silos. I'm going to go for the larger of the two. It's only a thousand more, but it's 200,000 litre capacity. So I'm going to go for that. And we'll probably put that just there, actually. That's pretty much bang on. Yeah, this is another one. We'll only go one way or the other. Right, so that needs to be blended in two. I'll do a little bit on that. Right, that has raised a little bit there, so can't be modified. Why? That's weird. Why can't the train be modified? Okay, so back to small one, put a few bits in there like that. Myself a bit of turning room at the ends, bit of the wood chip stuff on there, 
So just to blend in with what is what's around it, you know. And we'll go to that one there. Extend that out a bit. Come back around. Just so I've got a bit of turning room if I want to take vehicles out that end. And then go back to the wet one, like that. Okay, so, as I said, it's by no means perfect, but I've got a bit down the side there I can drive around if I don't want to go through the, the bunker silo, my silage pit. I've got my silage pit in there now so I can make silage for doing the, the animals. We can come straight off here. Now I could as well, if I want to, this is kind of gravelly texture, do a little bit of blending just between the two so you haven't got this very straight defined edge, if I want to, you don't have to. Just thinking, where would I put a barn? I suppose I could put a barn there, but I don't want to impede the uh, wood lumber cell point. Um, although, to be fair, I've got this... What am I talking about? I've got this huge great big building here, haven't I? If I want to stick some bales under this, I can stick some bales under there, can't I? Just move the vehicles over a little bit, and I'll use that for bales. Of course I will. Right, so, last thing I do before I finish um, is grab the plough again, plough out this section... And I'll do the seeds and the stuff off screen. We'll give ourselves a little bit of a grass pasture on the left here. On the well, it's the left if I'm facing up. The right. Of course, it's the left if I face the other way. Oh dear me. Um, I was thinking I want anything round it. Do I want to put a fence down here? Or something. Mm, not sure. Could put a couple of bits of hedge maybe. Mind you, look out of place because these are all bushes. There aren't really hedges as such along here we'll have a think about that but anyway that's our cow barn put down so we've now got sheep or well, something ready for sheep cows chickens um i'm happy with that that's good we need to sort of harvester so next episode's harvester the pond is done grass field is sorted i think we're where we wanted to be uh i'm gonna go and grab that plow then i need to get rid of the uh the uh, soil don't i the silt All unloaded. I'm going to take the trailer down here. I do like these bumpy tracks. And what I have done down the bottom here, again, while I was just doing it... Oh yeah, I've put in a windmill. Got a little windmill over there. I've put in a couple of barrels and a couple of little feed containers. Just part of the decorations pack. Just to break up a little bit. Cause it's, oh, and I think I've got a pallet truck with a little pallet. Where did that not go on in the end? I can't remember now. But a few little odds and ends. What I've done here, so you don't have to go all the way around past the farm if you don't want to. Or the farmhouse. It's just off here, I've put a little track, it's just a tiny little bit, just to bring us off here, smoothed out a little bit, so we can come down into this section here without going away around past the house, if we don't want to. Um, what I'm going to do now then is grab the plough and plough out the second meadow, next to the cow barn. Uh, when we need to turn our, I think, yeah, we need to turn our attention down here as well. So it's going to be harvest, get that wheat off the field and then repurpose it. And then we need to turn our attention down here. We need to get a little... We're going to need a silo, aren't we? If we do the harvest, I need somewhere to put the the, uh, the crops. So we're going to need a little silo built down here. So maybe a little bit more work down here. Small little shelter, I think. Yeah. And I've been saying that for ages, haven't I? So uh, I'll, <laughs> we'll do it. I promise. I've still got the other plot of land, just so I remembered as well. But um, I need to decide what I'm going to do with that. Whether I'm going to clear that and make it into a field, which would be a bit mad being a long way from here. Or whether clear it and replant it. That may be the field for replanting, I think. We'll clear it for the lumber, and then we'll replant it. As a sustainable, sort of, you know... A sustainable operation. Now, there are a few little dips here. So I'm not quite sure, again, how this is going to work. Yeah, there. I think if I start from here, where it's flatter... I could maybe level it out. We'll have a look. But anyway. 
let's put that on. Uh, I want to try and go now create fields. And away we go. It's not going to be huge, but it's more grass. I say grass again that we can fertilise and should get a decent yield and stuff. What I will do is utilise as much of it as I can. Some squeak from the windmill there. Probably going to need a little bit of a, a bit of oiling, maybe. I'm not climbing up it. And there we go. So more progress made. We are just gradually building up, getting ready for the next phases a bit at a time. We've got enough money to do what we need to for a little while. So I think when we've done the bits we need to. We'll get our livestock, then we need to look at maybe doing a bit more logging. Maybe buy some more land. I'm just wondering whether we might buy another plot next to this and get a field. I'm not sure. Another field maybe, but we will see. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.